We haven't seen her in a minute, and she's here to share with us, you know, what's been happening a few months since moving to her hometown, Katima Mudilo. Lea Masika is dropping a brand new Slayer collection in the capital city. We have this talented designer, stylist, and retail consultant in the studio right now to catch up with her experience as a fashion designer based outside of Vinduk. Lea, hey baby. How are hey. you? How are you? Uh, it's been a minute, girl. Oh, it's been a minute. And you look so good, beautiful. Is the worst yeah, thing for it us. is. It really is. But you're good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm so you so you move back home and you know things are different now. Tell us a, a bit about you know moving back home and uh, what you've been up to in Katima. Um, moving back home has been great. Yeah. I think the best decision I've made in a very very long time. Uh, it's just been good for me um, mentally, physically, and just also business-wise mm -hmm. and creative-wise as well. Yeah, so yeah. business-wise, creative-wise, can you emphasize a bit more on that? Um, yeah, I just, um, I partnered up with my mother. We opened up a bar. Mm -hmm. It's a little jazz bar jazz. in the middle of nowhere yeah. almost. It feels like the middle of nowhere because yeah. it doesn't feel like you're in Katima. But knowing you, it probably looks so beautiful. I, knowing how stylish you are, it probably looks as stylish as you are stylish. I hope so. <laughs> I, I want people to, to feel that style vibe. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like everywhere you go, you should make everything beautiful. So mm -hmm. yeah, I try to make it as beautiful as possible. Mm -hmm. So moving, moving from, from Vinduk and moving back home, has that affected affected your creative process in any way? How has that changed your creative process? It's definitely affected it. I mean, I'm still I'm still trying to detach from the social media part of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I think being a blogger and, and always constantly being on social media, especially Instagram, uh, I think it's been great to just detach and not see so much. The network is really, really bad where I live. Mm -hmm. So half the time I can't upload anything, yeah. I can't see anything. I, I, I'm i off Twitter because I can't even like read tweets because mm -hmm. it just takes too long to actually yeah. execute a social media moment. Mm -hmm. So even posting, I just don't do it anymore. I, so much content, nothing posted. Yeah, it's actually true because that's why I haven't seen you as active as you usually mm -hmm. are on Instagram where you're mostly active in, in, in my opinion and it's true detaching every once in a while yes and especially now with you know the world being like in such a dark hole sometimes detaching is very very important I totally agree with that and I think we all should do that every once in a while just you know yeah. not be on social media but it's so hard sometimes because anything happens on there you want to always be up to date with what's going on in the world but detaching is definitely a must and also you know the fashion scene I've never been to Katima Mulira before I've never ever been there obviously I'm gonna go so I can go check out your jazz bar you sometime soon <laughs> but how is the fashion scene up there and how do you see it changing in the next few years it's about to change Lea Masika is there yeah, so, yeah. Um, we do have some aspiring fashion designers in Katima it's just the platform is never there for them and I think um, most of them feel like coming to Bintuk is the only way to actually be seen, mm -hmm. which is not entirely true. I mean, I have an advantage because I, I made sure to, you know, plant myself here and cement myself so that if I move anywhere else, I'll be okay. Yeah. But I think there's a way to kind of decentralize and still somehow reach the central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I hear that. Your new drop, Slayer. I love mm. that, Slayer. So tell us a bit about this new drop. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody know what Slayer even means? <laughs> what does Slayer mean? Tell us. She lit educators. Everything yes. around her. So she's Slayer. Slayer. Yeah, like, you know, it's like, what do you want people to say mm. about you when you leave a room? You want to be like, she lit everything around her. So that's, that's what, what Slayer gave I love yeah. that. Yeah. So um, Slayer drop, honestly, it's not even a new collection. I just. Um, uh, I'm part of the den, the designers that have their garments in the den. So if you've been there lately, um, we all have our racks. So currently my rack is empty. Mm -hmm. So Melissa Bolton called me and she's <laughs> like, girl, your rack is empty. Like, What's just happening? Sold, yeah, yeah, I just sold your last dress. Like, are you, are you going to do something? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll make some stuff. I'll send them through. Yeah. And then I happened to be in town for some other work. So I was like, you know what, let's just, uh, I'm here anyways, so let's do something to get people to the store. Yeah, so you are doing something tomorrow, uh, something called Sip and Shop, I love yeah. that title. So what is happening at Sip and Shop tomorrow at the den? Uh, basically, we'll have champagne and we'll be shopping. Um, I definitely want people to come through. It's not even just about coming to shop Slayer. 
there's so many local Namibian designers that would appreciate the support. Yeah. And I'm gonna encourage them to also, you know, fill up their racks tomorrow so that when people are there they can actually see what Namibian designers have been up to mm -hmm. and, you know, buy something. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so apart from, you know, your sip and shop uh, event or, yeah, let me call it an, mm -hmm. an event happening tomorrow. What else can we expect? I don't want to ask that, actually, because, you know, the year is still so long and so much can happen. But um, any other plans you have, of course, in Katima in terms of, you know, maybe having a, like a young smoke, a fashion show or something, you know, something like that. Is there something like so that? So <laughs> many plans, so many plans. I think, um, I think I'm a bit hesitant in terms of, like, even putting my plans out there, mm. I think with all artists, yeah, because true. Mm. 2020 is just like, be quiet, be quiet. stop talking about yeah. it. It's my time to shine. Yeah, <laughs> stop putting it out there. This yeah. is, plans are not going to happen. <laughs> um, but definitely doing a fashion show in Katima is my dream. Mm. And um, hopefully I can involve Fashion Week in there and do something really big because uh, the local community needs it. I think yeah. they need to see that you know, things can happen in our hometown, we don't have to actually leave it. And I think that might actually change a lot of, lot of mindsets. Yeah, I love that. All right, before we let you go, Leah, just again for the folks tuning in right now, Sip and Shop, what time is it starting tomorrow and where is it happening? I'll be at the shop at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. but you can stop by any time of the day because okay. they're open from 9 a.m. Uh, but definitely the sipping and the shopping <laughs> on my part will start at 6. Okay. And then I'll see if I can get Melissa Bolton to push it to like 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah. And then we got to go home because COVID. Curfew. Time. And there's a curfew, guys. 10 o'clock <laughs> is the curfew. <laughs> Le, it was so nice to see you again. And hopefully we'll see more of you. I know you're staying in Fatima now. But hopefully you'll come you know, to the city every once in a while. And you'll always. come and us with your beautiful presents. Always, always. Yeah. This is still my city. So I'm going to come back every chance I get. Awesome. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Lea Masika in the studio. She's here for a few days, but like she said, there's a sip and shop happening tomorrow at the den starting as of 9 o'clock in the morning. So if you want to go check out some pieces from our very own designers, then go check it out and sip while you shop. All right? It is